<laughs> but yeah, it's so exciting to see when we have severe weather like that. But uh, here in the Northwest, our weather isn't so much severe as it is something you have to know about this weekend before we go throughout the whole week. Now, going to the school net of Auntie High School Olympia, we've been watching clouds get low and dark through the course of the day, and rain has arrived. High temperatures stayed well below normal. We're only in the upper 40s to finally hitting 50 degrees in Seattle this last hour. The wind has been increasing coming up out of the southwest, 21 to 22 miles an hour sustained wind, and the wind gusts are 20 to 35 miles an hour. The strongest gust so far this hour is on uh, Kitsap Peninsula, 32 miles per hour for Bremerton. Now moving to the Doppler radar, you could see that rain pushing inland, and it is turning to snow in the mountains. Our snow levels dropping down to 2,000 feet tonight. For early morning hours, it's going to be as low as 700 to 1,000 feet. So we know that the Cascade foothills are going to get a little dusting of some snow, but when we see this rain push through tonight, it's going to be changing over to showers and a converging zone between Everett and Seattle. That's how we know that the mountains are going to get the most snow at Stevens Pass and Snoqualmie Pass. 13 inches of new snow at Stevens Pass by tomorrow at 5 p.m., 11 inches new at Mount Baker and also Snoqualmie Pass. Now today our pollen count only moderate for trees, partly because of the cooler weather and that rain pushing in. This low pressure system is going to be sliding down through British Columbia. It's going to push the front through. We're going to stay cool tomorrow, but the showers decrease as high pressure rebounds. So even the high pressure will not put an end to the snow showers immediately tomorrow for the mountains. So know that winter weather advisory indicates winter travel in the passes throughout the day Pass highs are only going to be just in the low mid 30s. The amount of rainfall we're expecting for the lowlands, not that much, about a quarter of an inch for Everett, maybe a tenth to 12 hundredths of an inch for Seattle and Renton. So it'll be a quick hit of rain for most of us overnight tonight and then in that convergence zone between Seattle and Everett for the first part of your Saturday. Overnight low temperatures will be in the mid 30s tonight for the most part, but by the morning hours, many spots dropping a little bit into the low 30s and the breezy wind will settle in the morning hours. We're expecting just those few showers to come to an end and will become partly sunny tomorrow. Again, except for between Seattle and Everett. And then we'll have to wait for that convergence zone to slowly die out. So highs will stay cool in the upper 40s near 50 tomorrow. But then we'll have frosty mornings Sunday and Monday. Sunshine, though, taking a highs back into the mid 50s. And then we'll just sail into the 60s. Got your sunshine Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's almost like a week of summer early. It's kind of nice. It is nice. That is a good looking <laughs> forecast.